today I have a special topic to talk about, and that is preventing pregnancy without using hormonal contraception, or birth control pills, or the patch, or the IUD, or the implant. So when used as prescribed, hormonal birth control can actually be super duper effective. But there are a variety of reasons that someone might not want to use birth control. Um, it could be that someone doesn't want to use or take hormones that override our natural hormone fluctuations. Um, it could also be that someone has a medical reason not to take hormonal birth control or that they are nervous about talking to a doctor about it. Um, or they don't have easy access to a doctor. So I'm gonna discuss a few of the basic principles around how pregnancy happens and what two partners can do if they want to enjoy sexual intimacy without making a baby. So first, how does pregnancy happen? There are two basic components. The first is that sperm has to be released from a testicle travel through a penis and be ejaculated into a vagina. Once in the vagina, sperm can actually survive in the vagina or in the uterus for up to five days. Now, if no egg comes along, the sperm just dies. Now, if an egg does come along, a sperm and an egg can fuse and potentially create a baby. Now, where does the egg come from? The egg is released from an ovary in a process called ovulation. And on average, ovulation occurs about once every menstrual cycle. So a menstrual cycle will look something like this. Period, period's over, about seven to 10 days later, ovulation. Couple of weeks pass, next period. And that's the menstrual cycle. Now, generally speaking, we say that it's possible to get pregnant at any point in the menstrual cycle. However, what we really mean is that it's only possible to get pregnant during your fertility window. But the thing is, is that the fertility window can be at any point in the menstrual cycle, but for two different people. And so in general, yes, pregnancy can occur at any point during the menstrual cycle, but for an individual, Pregnancy can only happen during that fertile window. So what defines a fertile window? It is the five days leading up to ovulation and then the 24 hours after ovulation, which is a total of six days. So you can do the math, but six days is a lot shorter than the average menstrual cycle, which is around 28 days, which means that you should be protected from pregnancy any days outside of your fertile window. But the question is, when is your fertile window? And it all revolves around ovulation. And ovulation is gonna be different from one person to the next. And again, so I said earlier, on average, ovulation occurs about seven to 10 days after a period finishes. But it might not be the same for everyone. And understanding when you ovulate is key to avoiding pregnancy when you don't wanna use hormonal birth control. So here are my few tips. First, use a condom whenever possible and definitely during the fertile window. My second tip, pulling out. Pulling out prior to ejaculation significantly reduces the amount of sperm that can enter the vagina and the uterus. Keep in mind that pulling out isn't necessarily 100% effective and accidents can happen. It's also possible that a little bit of sperm can enter the vagina uh, through pre-com or pre-ejaculate. So that's where a condom is also helpful. And again, especially in the fertile window. So my third tip, do not douche or wash out the vagina after penetrative sex. It does not remove all of the sperm that have entered and it can actually cause more problems by disrupting some of the good bacteria yeast balance that happens in the vagina. So don't, don't douche. And my fourth tip, try not to have sex during the fertile window. And five, in case accidents happen, consider emergency contraception or Plan B or Ella. Plan B is available over the counter in most drugstores and Ella is available by prescription. So there are a few different ways to figure out when ovulation occurs for you. And this involves a lot of tracking and planning. And so 
Um, it's a commitment, but once you get the hang of things and once you figure it out, it's going to be um, a pretty reliable way of avoiding pregnancy. So you'll have to track your patterns for a few months to be sure of your fertile window. Um, but once you get the pattern down, it should be pretty easy going forward. So one option is to use ovulation detectors, and I'll put a link in the uh, video description, but it's basically um, a big packet of um, little sticks, and you dip them in your pee, and it tells you if you're having a hormone surge that is consistent with ovulation. And so these little sticks can help you predict when your ovulation occurs. Um, and then you just keep track of when you notice that your ovulation occurs in your menstrual cycle and keep track of it for a few months. And then that should be a pretty good indicator of when your fertile window is. So five days before and then 24 hours after that ovulation. You can give an extra day or two on each end just to be safe too. Another method that a lot of people use is cervical mucus checks. Your cervical mucus or the vaginal discharge that you notice between periods is actually a pretty good indicator of the hormones that are fluctuating in your body between periods. And hormones actually change a lot between periods and some of the changes lead to ovulation. And so you will probably notice, you probably have already noticed that Sometimes the discharge in your underwear looks a little bit different from day to day. And there's a type of cervical mucus that is pretty indicative of ovulation occurring. And that's going to be when the mucus or cervical discharge um, looks like the clear part of, an, of a raw egg. So like the egg white part. Um, so if it's clear, and kind of stretchy and but not super stretchy but looks like that egg white then that's probably when ovulation is getting ready to occur for you too so about 24 hours before ovulation is when you'll notice that change in your cervical mucus um, again track this look at the changes and see if you see a pattern and that's also potentially indicative of when your fertile window is and the last thing that some people use and is pretty common is what we call basal body temperature change. Um, and the way you do this is that you take your temperature every day while you're resting and track the patterns. And a lot of folks will see that their body temperature goes up slightly when they ovulate. Some people it doesn't, and so it's not 100% and can be used in combination with some of these other uh, ways to check on when you're ovulating, but um, but checking your temperature every day can potentially indicate when you are ovulating. So one other thing that you can add to your toolbox, but just to wrap it up, if you want to try to avoid pregnancy without using hormonal birth control, it's totally possible. You just have to be aware of your fertile window use protection and extra measures, um, especially during that fertile window, um, but also just get to know your body a little bit more and you can be pretty darn sure of when you're ovulating and when you have to be most careful when having sex. And when in doubt, check out my condom video. There are tons of condoms out there that can actually enhance penetrative sex and make it a little bit more pleasurable. So consider the condom.